hi last session we discussed about transforms right in theoretical part what is transform what kind of operations you have what is the purpose of a transform where you can use how it works what kind of inputs you can use all that stuff let's create some transforms and see how it works in reality so let's begin with account attribute transform that's kind of the one which you should begin with so as i mentioned we write this transform in json right so we, you so you need to remember three entries for any transform which is attributes next is type next name as this is json so you should start with the curly brace okay let's change the language to json so json is nothing but entry uh, every entry is like a key value pair okay so this is a string literal so that's why i'm keeping in double quotes okay so attributes it will be more than one entry that's why i'm going to use it as an array you should know json how it works then you will understand what is that uh, transform we are writing which is account attribute okay come on what is the name you would like to give let's say test or in why to give test let's say first name account attribute transform this is the name i would like to give okay so under attribute section you need to pass from which source you would like to read um which is source name okay what is the source name my name is success factors next what is the attribute you would like to read from the success factor source as we are looking at first name let's see what is the attribute name for first name which is given name first underscore name right so let's write it as first underscore name okay since this is the last entry i don't need to use any comma here okay so copy this go to your postman uh, we have discussed already how you can set up your postman right um, how you can uh, fork i don't know apis or download and import those apis so now i need to look into transforms transforms so here i have a api call for create transform this is a post call you need to keep body okay now hit send so this is the transform which we have created the only uh, extra attributes that are created are id as we discussed every object will have some id and internal so when uh, cell pointer in not an end is ready it comes with out of the box transforms okay for example two lower two upper case something like that there will be some out of the box transforms those comes as a internal kind of you know so this is what used Fun. it's just a representation whether it is uh, a custom transform or sale point out of the box transform apart from that there is no technical usage of this attribute okay id of course you need it now we, you can use this id to to read this transform alone transform by id so 
So I'm going to pass this ID here. Hit send. So this is a get API. So this is the transform which we have created. Now let's go back. Uh, this is the here is what we are trying to use the transform, right? If I click select transform, I don't find that. Okay, uh, you can type first name. It's not there. You need to refresh the page. Then it will load all the transforms that are available in your tenant. Okay, so remember to refresh your page so that the changes will be reflected. Just a simple static HTML page, right? Whenever you do some operation, it is going to get the data from back end and display it in uh, your web browser, right? It's not a dynamic page. That's why you need to refresh. Now, I'll type first name. I have the transform, okay? Now, once you select, you do any changes, either it in uh, source name, attribute name, or transform, or you create one more attribute or remove any attribute, whatever you do, some change here, you see save a button click save as we discussed you should not apply the changes unless you test it let's go to preview okay uh, what we are working on given name right so this is what we are getting Chandler if you click on this I icon uh, identity attribute is given name source is success factors attribute name this is what we selected in the identity mapping right what is the transform we are using what is the identity value what is the preview value okay so all this data is displayed you can select a different user okay it's like that whichever users you would like to select and see the uh, output what you are getting okay check for a couple of users since this is a simple transform you can click apply changes because we don't see any error okay so it takes some time whenever you change some configuration in identity mappings that doesn't need to be a transform it can be anything and then if you uh, save it and click apply changes and identity refresh is triggered okay in case if you have worked in cell point identity iq uh, it's the same refresh identity cube task that is available in ident now but you don't see any task you cannot run any task unless it is aggregation task or account group aggregation task okay that also you are not creating the task it is out of the box available for every source whenever you create a source correct so refresh task you it's not available for you to run okay and whatever there are ways to run the refresh task which we will discuss uh, it is meant for different purpose for example in cell point identity IQ, refresh identity cube task uh, it has lot of uh, options in it right uh, what is the option that is responsible for uh, refreshing identity attributes? That's refresh identity attributes only, right? That is the option you have in refresh identity cube task. So you get to choose what options or what kind of functionality should be executed as part of this refresh identity cube task, correct? Here, it's not like you will choose or you can execute. In every place when you run this task, I mean not the task when you when you do the changes a refresh will be triggered that is that is going to do only this uh, you know identity uh, attributes refresh okay for attributes in there is a different uh, place to trigger it right uh, it may looks like a different activity but in the back end it is what uh, refresh task okay so you can click view to see the progress how what it is going um it looks like uh, there is no active job here okay so it takes some time to to refresh 
uh, in case if you are doing this in your real time client uh, tenant where it has a lot of users you can see the percentage or status like how many users what is the current uh, you know users it is refreshing like 10 out of 100 or 100 out of uh, 10,000 users something like it okay so after the change is completed uh, i mean the refresh is completed you can see the changes in your identity now see um if you look at the identities here in in case if if there is there was any error when you apply after applying the transform you can see something a red color uh, icon here which says that uh, you know error state the identity is in error state if an identity is in error state no activity will be you know happening on that user you want to see all the users that have error you can click these identities with errors okay currently it's no no user it means that i mean yeah you need to wait till your uh, changes are completed here in your identity profile after applying the transform okay so next uh, after completing that activity you can check if there are any uh, errors okay yeah you can open any user and you can look at the data so you see here what is the first name of the user Chandler. okay so this is how you create uh, a account attribute transform right this account attribute transform you don't uh, require it actually uh, for this example i mean why because you are getting this uh, first name anyway here why to write a transform again then what is the purpose of this you will use it in different places for example display name if you are calculating a display name at display name right which is uh, concatenation right using first name and last name you are going to add first name and last name to generate display name correct so there we are going to extract the first name and last name from your hr source there it will be useful i don't want to jump into concatenation transform right away that's because it's a nested transform so i started with the basic transform which is account attribute transform so what you need to do you need to remember just three entries one attributes for every transform this is the format okay yeah, i'll use double quotes since it is in json next type what is the type of the transform next what is the name of the transform these are the three attributes you are supposed to remember while writing or developing any transform and i have mentioned type as account attribute how do i know that it's account attribute i mean here small a i use there is no space how do i know uh, it's there is a documentation you go to transforms developer.salepoint.com idn slash doc slash transforms so here you see operations you find all the transforms documentations and some examples as well okay uh, there is a bit some more options are there which we will discuss step by step right so you can see this the type of the transform is a code attribute uh, I couldn't uh, remember the syntax of the transform when I began with uh, sale point I didn't know so what I used to do even today also I don't want to burden my brain much I don't want to think much just want to copy paste reuse it why uh, if you take charge GPT, it is generating a lot of things right it's not about uh, developing by yourself or not it is about reusing the sources what we have okay i would say that yeah you should it's better to remember something because when things go wrong you don't believe me a um, couple of uh, years back one of my clients connected with me asking for this is the transform i am working on i don't know what is wrong and it is not working the transform syntax was incorrect 
syntax in the sense not like compile them what do i mean uh, in case if anything mistake here runtime exception it was the transform structure was not correct he just written just something like a plain text okay so that's why it was not giving anything it was not throwing any exception even he has written transform like that okay recently uh, i have seen one transform my colleague uh, he has written the transform and it was not working he said that he spent half a day in uh, troubleshooting that why it was not working he has given me the transform i looked into it and i just fixed in five minutes i mean i i need to read the transform uh, uh, by listing in sail point api right and then i need to change the transform update it test it save it everything it took just five minutes for me because he has given uh, some attribute name incorrectly okay these are some examples i have seen even today i see a lot of uh, people used to ask me they'll just give me like uh, 30 40 lines of you know transform they'll say that it's not working they didn't understand the you know the soul of a transform that's why they are getting all these errors for me since i understood i don't uh, fall in any issues or errors because i go step by step what i am writing okay i'll teach you that as well um so even today if sometimes when i don't remember the transform you know i just come here i'll take this copy it and i'll paste it in my notepad and i'll do the changes here as per my needs if you want to do the same thing it's your wish i'm not going to stop uh, but I would say you should remember, you should learn as well. It's not just like copy paste and uh, editing the transform as per your needs. You should understand. You should know the structure. You should know the format. You should know the syntax. Why? If something goes wrong, if someone else's transform goes wrong, you should have that enough, uh, uh, what can I say, knowledge so that you will be able to fix it. When you are writing a transform or I am writing a transform, of course, we go in right direction. So we will get the correct transform. Not everybody develop a transform like that, correct? You don't believe me. I have seen transform which is hundreds of lines, like 200, 300 lines. Even when I look back my transforms, it's difficult for me to understand. When I develop, it's cool. But when I'm going to update the transform, when the requirement changes, it's too difficult for me. Because I understand the transform which I developed even with because I forget after a couple of days. Right? So that's why you should have this knowledge. So my suggestion is learn. After learning, yeah, sure. You don't need to scratch your brain to remember everything or put your brain 100% there. You can use this copy paste, not a problem. Okay, that's about account attribute transform. There are some additional attributes. We will discuss that much in the coming sessions.